Luka Modric. One of the most basic, but also one of the most important parts of football is passing. Especially for midfielders, this skill is pretty important because they have to set the pace of the game and since they get a lot of touches on the ball, midfielders need to be able to have great distribution. In other words, they need to be reliable. Luka Modric is a master of both short and long passes, which shows in his high pass completion numbers, 91%, which, given his high involvement and many progressive passes, is actually quite good. Modric, in other words, manages to always be around when important plays are being made, and for that, you need to rely on your passing skill, and more importantly, your precision. The best way to start improving, if you're alone at least, is actually really simple. Find something that the ball can rebound back off. It can be a wall, a bench laying down, a fence, or whatever you have close by. A good way to start off is passing the ball at your object, could be the wall, and then when the ball is rebounded, you take a touch to set yourself up for the next pass. You should switch between legs between each pass so you get good with both your right and your left. Now, when you're comfortable doing this drill, you can make it a bit more difficult for yourself by skipping the touch and just passing it on your first touch. Even though Luka Modric has world-class passing, it's his dribbling and ball control in tight spaces that really makes him stand out. Modric is a master of beating intense pressure with his wonderful touch and his quick thinking, but all of these flashy ways to beat the pressure wouldn't be possible without great ball control. So let's look at how we can practice that. Of course, this can be done in many ways, but in general, the more time you spend with the ball, the better your control will be. However, a dribbling course of some sort is always a good way to start as it forces you to control the ball in different scenarios. You can set up this little game where you dribble through some cones using different dribbling techniques. Now, other than doing the drill with higher speed, you can also challenge yourself a little more by ending the drill with a pass into a small goal or between some cones. And actually, that's the whole point of dribbling progressing with the ball and then creating space for yourself to either shoot or put your teammate in a really good position with a pass. The third and final thing to learn from Luka Modric is, of course, the Trivella. Now, Modric is one of the masters of this pass, and as we saw in the quarterfinal between Real Madrid and Chelsea, it can be very, very effective. Now, you might think that the only purpose of the Trivella is to look cool, because why won't you just pass it with your weak foot instead? But there is actually a reason for the Trivella working. Because when you're doing it, you kind of create this unique trajectory for the ball, which in some cases can't be done simply by passing with your weak foot. Also, it might surprise the opponent and therefore they might not be as ready to intercept the pass, like we saw against Chelsea. When first trying out the Trivella, it can be hard to create enough power for the pass or shot to work. But the key component here is to lock your angle to create the necessary power and then follow through with your foot all the way through the ball. And if your angle is sloppy, you'll lose the ability to really direct the ball where you want it. Other than just practicing this in front of a goal or just trying to hit a target, you can set up a little drill to challenge yourself even further. It could be any kind of dribbling course, but an example could be first beating a cone with a skill move like a step over, croquetta, or just a simple body feint, and then setting up a small goal or target to hit with the Trevella pass afterwards. Those were three things that Luka Modric does really well that's also worth working on in your own game. And I know it might sound a bit rudimentary, passing, dribbling, Trevella, but once you master these things, you'll be very, very hard to play against. But which player should we take a look at next? Let us know down below and do also remember to hop by unisportstore.com for all your latest gear needs or consider improving more as a footballer in the playlist in the bottom of your screen. And with those words, I'll be signing off. Cheerio.